spring boot workshop we are going to cover spring versus spring boot introduction to spring boot futures of spring boot all this in syllabus team hope you got uh, this syllabus in email we are trying to see all the modules like spring core spring mvc without spring boot how it was there with the spring boot how it is working now spring boot okay, internals spring data jpa so jpa okay, different you know topics we are going to see spring boot actuator spring boot dev tools logging profiles event and listeners advanced topics like how to implement parallel calls in spring boot how to implement redis cache in spring boot spring boot application with how to do docker after you implement this docker how to deploy your spring boot application using jenkins or how to deploy your application into your okay, aws spring boot with kafka integration team this is what we are going to see this two days team now what is the goal of this spring framework the main objective of the main objective of spring framework is spring framework is to make to make j2e application application development was easier to make j2e application development was easier i don't want to talk about what are the drawbacks is there okay, inside of this uh, j2e because the spring the main okay, intention of spring framework is to make j2e application okay, development is easier now okay, next one see why this you know spring boot came into the picture the main goal of or objective of objective of spring boot is the main goal of spring framework is to make jte application of development is easier the main goal of spring boot is to make spring application development to make spring application development was easier easier hey that means spring itself has accept that there are so many drawbacks is there inside of your spring application there are so many drawbacks are available inside of your spring application development now what are the okay, drawbacks of your spring application development what are the okay, drawbacks of your spring application development okay spring application development spring application development team see the drawbacks of spring application of development see if you want to develop any distrib okay if you want to develop any spring mvc based application if you want to develop any spring mvc based application see what are the steps you should do follow team i want to develop one basic mvc application see to develop steps to implement spring mvc application steps to implement spring mvc application so what are the steps are required what are the steps are required to implement spring mvc first one create maven web project create maven web project second one add required add required spring modules dependencies in form.xml now see in our project i may need i may need spring core module i may need spring context module 
I may need. If you are using, if you are using a Hibernate, I may need Spring Web Module. If you are developing a okay, application, I may need Spring Web MVC. Now, so many okay, dependencies are required to develop your okay, MVC applications. You need some validation dependency. We need some Jackson dependency and so on. So many okay, dependencies are required to develop MVC based applications. MVC based applications team here. Okay, now okay, next one. So now here, see now. The next one is for what configure f.xml or web application initializer. Now, fourth one configure dispatcher in servlet. Configure dispatcher servlet. Understood team now. See to develop your simple okay web application using Spring MVC, you need to do so many things. Again, dispatcher servlet configuration. What you should do? You should do view view resolver. You should do default. Roulette handler understood now next one team right next one right or create controller in our project you should configure data source configuration next one create controller next one implement request to mapping implement request to mapping now we are seating see out of all this first to draw back with the spring based applications is this one thing first to draw back of spring based application is in this one what is this one dependency management see here in our real time we don't know see here you will get version compatibility issues if any really working they will be able to know version compatibility issues what is mean by version compatibility issues your spring core version is 4.x let's assume that what is the compatible version of your hibernate the hibernate is will support 4.x hibernate will support 3.x what is that spring mvc compatible version is let's assume that 4 what is the compatible version of this jackson don't know see if you don't know you will write some okay you will configure some version and you will deploy the application into your server you will get what class not found exception you will get what class cast exception you know your project your project may require some 50 dependencies 50 jars are required this 50 jars we don't know we don't know which version will compatible with what version which version will be compatible with what version we don't know see most of the developers are spending minimum a day hour two hours on only how to configure this version compatibility team so this is the problem number one problem number one is we don't know what dependencies we should add in our palm.xml what dependencies okay version we should add 
problem number two see here i would say here dependency management is difficult team dependency management is okay, difficult here okay next one what is the okay, next one here the okay, next one is okay this one next one is okay this one team please out of all the steps out of all the steps out of no out of eight points eight points out of eight points please try to work understand out of eight points one two six points one two six points same for all the projects team if you want to develop a hundred web application using spring mvc for 100 web application step 1 to step 6 it will be same only step 7 to 8 would be varied from project to project out of 8 points 1 to 6 points will be same for all the projects and you know and only 7 and 8 points 7 and 8 points will be varied from will be varied from project to project this is called this is called boilerplate code that means over the period of the time over the period of the time over the period of the time spring unknowingly spring unknowingly please concentrate spring unknowingly spring unknow using boilerplate code using boilerplate code team using boilerplate code see now that means to overcome all these problems see lot of configurations are requ required here see how many configurations are required how many configurations are required here see here lot of configurations is required team here lot of configurations how many configurations are required here configuration one configuration two configuration three you need to use so many configurations team here see okay the drawbacks with the spring is the first one team lot of lot of manual configurations what is the problem with the manual configurations you know if you see lot of manual configurations means developer has the responsibility to write this manual configuration see first we are using okay, xml configuration due to some problem with the xml configuration then we have moved to java configuration still we have unnecessarily huge configuration is there in our xml in our java config we have moved to we have moved to auto wire auto wire see XML configuration. There was some drawback with okay, XML configurations. That's why we moved to Java config. But still, Java config, you have to write so many other eight bills. But to overcome this Java configuration, we should move to whom? Auto wire, auto wiring, auto wiring and component scan. Sir, you may ask, sir, if you implement this auto wire and configuration, it is okay, reduced, right? Then what is the drawback? Yes, sir. Please try to understand. I already clearly explained. Auto wire component scan should work for user defined classes. That means we have source code, but framework related classes. Framework related classes. Classes like like data source, 
driver manager or data source jdbc template redis template i were still we have to use because this source code is not with us still we have to use lot of configuration means you should use at the rate bean only it is the one of the major drawback in spring it is one of the major drawback in spring so generally what the spring will do spring will do now here see regular regular spring regular spring lighter lighter in terms of code but but heavyweight but heavyweight with the configuration heavyweight with configuration lighter in terms of code but okay heavyweight with the configuration okay so this is the one of the what is the drawback with this lot of configuration you know developer most of the time developers should spend on this okay writing most of the time a okay, developer is spending on this writing team time consuming the next one team complex the next one you need to understand all the okay, difficulties of the tags understanding the understanding the memorized tags and all lot of time you should spend on this configuration minimum half an hour every day or one hour every day see how much time it is the one of the drawback with the spring spring drawback is this one okay, next drawback is next drawback is dependency management okay, okay next drawback is dependency management is too hard too hard we don't know what what version is compatible with what other version we don't know what version is compatible with what other 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 version difficult for new comers difficult for new comers to try out to try out spring futures because of this difficult for new comers to try out spring futures difficult for new comers to try out spring futures to try out spring futures to try out spring futures so to overcome all these problems to overcome all these problems team to overcome all these problems see even you are spending a lot of time here and lot of time here and that to these projects you know for every project these are the common team okay every project these are the common to overcome all these problems to overcome okay all these problems all these problems spring was introduced a module is called spring boot spring was introduced a module is called spring boot module is called spring boot team module is called spring okay spring boot okay now so spring okay, spring boot was created to address all these complexities okay next one okay, spring boot spring boot does not does not does not replace spring framework that's wrong it is a one of the module it is a one of the module does not okay replacement it does not replacement of this replacement of spring framework that is it is one of the module it is one of the module like like spring core mvc security batch bo this is one of the module team spring core okay mvc dao this is one of the module 
this is one of the module team okay that's it okay understood okay next one so now spring boot see spring boot is equal to what are the prerequisite thing to understand spring boot spring boot is equal to all spring modules spring boot is equal to all the spring modules spring boot is equal to all spring modules only thing is if we use using spring using spring we can develop we can develop end to end applications we can develop end to end applications we can develop end to end applications using spring we can develop okay end to end applications but it will take it will take lot of time to deliver lot of time to take deliver the product so now so okay end to end means you may develop using stand alone applications you may develop using app applications you may develop using enterprise application or okay, distributed applications all everything you can use using everything you can using okay, everything you can using spring now whatever you can do whatever spring can do whatever regular spring framework is doing same will do same will do by spring boot spring boot spring boot spring boot but the deliver but deliver the product quickly into market into market using you quickly into the market with the help of with the help of spring boot futures in first two, one hour two hours in theory team then we'll start everything is practical team trust me everything is practical will not only theory no okay whatever a regular spring framework is doing same will do by spring boot but the deliver the product you know deliver deliver the product and quickly into the market with the help of spring boot futures team with the help of spring boot futures that means spring boot spring boot is is new way of new way of new way of creating creating spring based applications new way of creating spring based applications now here see spring boot aims to spring boot aims to simplify simplify the process of process of developing developing production ready production ready production ready spring based applications productions ready spring based applications how to do production ready spring based applications now we'll see practically team now we'll see practically hope you got a clear idea now what is this okay, spring boot and all now what are the spring boot features here what are the spring boot features here now first future is team first future is dependency management dependency management is easier is easier dependency management is easier dependency management is easier you don't need to worry about this all dependencies 
you don't need to worry about all the dependencies your spring boot will take care automatically to all add all the dependencies how to uh, add all the dependencies how to add all the okay, dependencies that okay will explain team okay spring boot has the one good feature is called dependency management is easier easier next one team easier means one line statement i will give how to easier okay we'll see team okay next one team auto configuration super feature is called auto configuration auto configuration auto configuration another feature is called embedded server another feature is called embedded server what is embedded server how it is works i will explain clearly team embedded server another one is called actuator is beautiful concept in spring boot what this okay, actuator will do it will do okay it will address it will address all non functional requirements it will address all the non functional requirement like how you are application health is working how to monitor monitor your application get the metrics of your application all everything i would say actuator is used to your production production ready or deployable ready or actuator is, is used to to make your application as production ready or the deployable team production ready future cities okay fifth one team what is fifth one okay fifth one is dev tools dev tools what is the okay, dev tools and all okay i would explain dev tools is never developer will modify any change instead of developer will deploy the application into server dev tools will take care automatically reload your server and deploy automatically into your server into your jvm everything your dev tools will take care dev tools okay it is it contains some utility tools i would explain all next one i would say spring application application without without xml without xml configuration the goal of spring boot don't use any xml configuration don't use any xml configuration next one opinionated opinionated but highly highly customizable opinionated opinionated but highly customizable now okay eighth one team eighth one spring boot spring boot cli what is eighth one spring boot cli team okay, understood team these are the features of your spring boot these are the features of your spring boot if anyone is asking about your spring boot you should tell the main core features are this fio what are this fio means dependency management is easier auto configuration embedded server actuator fifth one is dev tools now remaining are spring application without xml configuration without xml configuration and opinionated but highly customizable spring boot cli means command line interface these are the features of your spring boot now 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 we'll see how spring boot you know dependency management is easier how this okay spring boot dependency management is easier first one team 
please try to understand please try to understand very very important i will explain all so in traditional application i want develop one web application in traditional before spring boot before spring boot if you want to develop one web application if you want to develop this web okay, application now now what happened so we may need we may need so many jars we may need so many jars if you want to develop your web application we may need so many jars like we may need spring core spring core this spring core is maybe 4.x we may need spring context maybe 4.x now what are required Evernet is required which version may be 3.x what are there Jackson to convert your Java object into JSON may be need 2.x now validator may be need some 4 or maybe 3 web jar may be need spring web may be need oh you know please because you are i don't know how many years of experience in this batch in six seven years back still if spring boot is not there how much struggle will do in our project development you know so many in late nights we spend in office to resolve this compatibility issues in our palm.xml we would have 20 jars these 20 jars will be bringing other other 20 jars in our lib total 100 jars are there don't know which jar is the culprit to, to um, get the class not found exception to get the class cast exception to get the null point exception sometimes we used to spend uh, you know two three days or a whole week also to resolve this jars compatibility here we don't know because you know we we were worked on some legacy applications we know so how the you know legacy development and all see so, you now here we are not sure here okay how it is happening all this stuff you can't give guarantee hey your uh, you know your spring mvc will be four point x will be support for uh, Jackson 2.x may or may not. To overcome these problems, what your Spring Boot is introduced, you know, Spring Boot was introduced, was introduced, introduced a concept is starter is starter dependencies is starter dependency starter dependencies means hey is no we have two starter dependencies one is spring boot parent starter another one is spring boot starter Spring Boot Starter Module Spring Boot Starter I would say Future Spring Boot Starter Future Spring Boot Starter Spring Boot Parent Starter Another one is Spring Boot Starter Future Another one is Spring Boot Starter Future What is the future I would explain to you Now Before that we are current latest version of spring 
spring boot version is different from spring version please interviews are the interviews are asking first what is the spring version you are using what is the spring boot version you are using you are telling for five no please please be more spring boot spring version latest version is 5.x no spring boot version is latest version is 3 but always recommended industry using industry using version is always okay n minus 2 2.5.x something industry is not using 3.x recently it okay it came okay 3.x okay recently okay it came where i can use this one go here spring boot starter start in this website what is the latest version here 3.0 only don't trust snapshot snapshot means till they record development is going on see always stable version is 2.6.3 stable version we should use 2.5.19 please always give this priority is called 2.5.19 you can understand team so if if anyone will be ask spring boot version is 2.5.19 now please try to understand so please try to understand now what is this dependency management now you have spring boot has introduced what is spring boot parent form spring boot parent starter this has now please try to understand this is a form spring boot parent starter form this form dot xml so spring right spring would be spring would integrate with so many so many technologies so many third party technologies the spring integrate with so many third party technologies like spring integrated with so many third party technologies like mango db like redis redis cache like kafka like and so on etc what this pom.xml is there spring would look integrated with so many modules now please try to understand here very very important basics are like important team what this parent form will do parent spring parent starter form will take care it will configure it will configure all the third party it will configure all the third party in libraries version it will configure all the third party libraries so version details are available here it will configure all the third party libraries versions information versions information please try to understand only versions information is available here i will show you practically only versions information is available here i will show you practically 
Spring would integrated with so many third-party technologies like MongoDB, Redis Caching, Kafka, or any other, other technologies. It will configure all the third-party libraries, all the Spring, Spring modules and third-party libraries. That means, now please, please have to try to understand. If you are using Spring Boot 1.x version. If you are using Spring Boot 1.x version. What your uh, Spring Boot starter form will do? Spring Boot starter form will do. Hey developer, you don't need to add any, any, any versions. I will provide a compatibility version to you. If you are using Spring Boot 1 point, you should use Spring 3.x, you should use Spring okay, MVC 3.x, you should use Jackson. Just parent palm will have all under sun, under sun. ETC means that is so many, so many, so many libraries. So many libraries, versions, informations. So many libraries, version information is available here. So many libraries, version information is available here, team. Okay, understood, team. Please, I will show you practically. I am creating one simple project now. I would explain how to create the project and later at this time I am creating a one, one simple project to team but this is not official I would explain later how to create the project and all I would explain see parent palm window so you Preferences, font, basic, edit, CT. It is Spring Boot 2.5.99 version. I am clicking on Spring Boot Starter Parent. Spring Boot Starter Parent, which will have Spring Boot Dependency. Go to Dependency. Here, see. All the versions are available here. That's it. All, all, all the versions. How many, how many versions you have approximately? 227 versions is there. See, this is what? If you are using, if you are using, if you are using Spring Boot, if you are using Spring Boot 2.5.9, if you are using Spring Boot 2.5.9, what is the version of your Spring Core or Spring Batch or whatever it? Everything, all Spring JDBC, what is the version? Not Spring JDBC, Spring Core also will have. It will be available in some other jars. All the spring batch version is what? 4.3.4. All, everything. So you will go here. Spring dependencies. Spring dependence hierarchy. Go here. You can search here. Spring core version. One second. Run as MVN installed. It will do build. It is a simple application only.
Maven. Maven update. Dependencies. It should come. The dependencies. Here you got Spring Core dependencies. Spring actuator, Spring. See all. See how many it came here. So many are available here. it should come team i will explain let me show you now here see okay let's take okay jackson only big jackson so what is the version of jackson 2.2 okay 12.6 okay what is the version of jackson 2.12.6 all are spring third party libraries which spring is using into spring framework Okay, now here T. If I change this pom.xml version, there is a spring. If I want change prem 2.5 to what is the version here? Spring version 1.5.3 something T. I will change this. Let's see. I don't need this unit test cases and all. Run as MV installed. I want to show you the difference. Spring Boot 2. Point is failed to using 1.5.3. Spring Boot parent palm. Okay, this palm.xml is going to change here. One, one second team. Spring boot 1.5.6 parent to palm. It will give the dependency. Here the dependencies only release is missing here. Spring Boot Starter Parent T. Now you will see. Run as MV install. Now if you see here observe here observe here my only intention is spring boot version is compatible with our spring version steam see go to this starter parent go to this spring boot starter dependency here see what are the versions you have jackson see here jackson j starts with j 2.8.9 here. Whereas here team, here Jackson, two point twelve point six. Whereas here, 2.8.19. Understood team. So Spring Boot version is depending on all Spring version and their compatible versions. I would say Spring Boot version Spring Boot version is is depending so okay, Spring Boot version is compatible with compatible with Spring version Spring version which will be taken care by which will be taken care by Spring Boot module will be taken care by spring boot module team now let's see 
Now please try to understand here. Now, first one is we are good. So if it is spring boot, if you are using okay, spring boot okay, 2.x, what happened? If you are using spring boot 2.x, your starter spring boot starter form will have configuration of maybe spring 4, spring MVC 4, Jackson 2, okay, everything it would be happen. So your spring boot version is compatible with your spring versions as well as your spring third party, your spring version as well as your spring third party versions team. Your spring versions as as well as your spring third party versions team. Okay. Please try to understand team. Now, okay, next to future is this is very very important spring boot starter future here it is spring boot starter parent form it is spring boot starter parent form next version is spring boot starter spring boot starter it is what future what is mean by future team very very important a future may be here web a future may be here jdbc a future may be here please try to understand future may be here it is cashy a future may be here JPA. A future may be here anything. You would say Spring Boot has provided so many starter dependencies. Spring Boot has provided so many starter dependencies. Spring Boot starter web. Spring Boot starter web. Spring Boot Starter JDBC Spring Boot Starter Redis Spring Boot Starter JPA Spring Boot Starter Web Spring Boot and Sun So many Starter dependencies. I would say so many starter dependencies. If you want to develop web application, if you want to develop okay web application using Spring Boot, please try to understand. If you want to develop web application using Spring Boot, You don't need to add all the dependencies. You don't need to add all the dependencies. Just add. You don't need to add all the dependencies. Just add. You don't need to add all the dependencies. Just add starter dependencies. What future you want? You want to develop web application? Add starter web. You want to develop database? Add JDBC. If you want to develop caching, add Redis Cache Starter. Instead of adding all the dependencies, okay, instead of adding all the dependencies, you just add one dependencies just add one dependencies your spring boot this dependency will take care this dependencies will take care to bring this dependency will take care to bring all other dependencies this dependency will take care to bring all all the required to develop a web application 
what are the jars are required to develop web application what are the jars are required spring core spring mvc spring spring core spring mvc you know hibernate hibernate or jackson hibernate jackson validator validator what are the dependencies are required what are the dependencies are required all the dependencies what are the dependencies are required all the dependencies all the dependencies we have to use all the dependencies we have to use understood team very very important see okay instead of a okay, developer we, we will add all the okay, dependencies okay instead of a okay, developer we will add all the okay, dependencies developer job is only add developer job is only add starter dependency in my in my palm.xml your spring boot will take care to bring all the required all the required jars to develop web application all the required jars to develop a okay, web application spring boot has introduced so many starter web spring boot starter web data jpa actuator so many so many starter you know okay, dependencies are there the starter dependencies is packaging of packaging of all the required dependencies of that future if you want a web application you don't worry about you will bring what only this web application what are the jars are there those will bring who will give the versions versions will be given by the parent form starter webs will be given by the all the required all the required dependencies understood team please so now here it is a good future two one is good one very very important spring boot starter dependency is used spring boot starter of a dependency is used spring boot starter starter dependency is used to is 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 used to bring all the required all the required dependencies bring all the required dependencies of that future bring all the required dependencies of that future if it is application you need to add spring boot add spring boot starter starter web okay it will bring it will bring it will bring all the required dependencies all the okay, required dependencies to develop a web application to develop web application to develop a web application if it is you want work with jdbc okay you need to add spring boot starter jdbc it will bring all the required it will bring all the required all the required dependencies all the okay, required jars jars of all the required jars to develop to develop jdbc application understood team to develop jdbc application any questions team any questions here so how to do now now we'll see now we'll see go for this our palm.xml close all go to our palm.xml okay close all i don't want to add these okay, dependencies what is there here refresh do you have any maven project here no any any jars are here no now what i will do 
dependencies dependency group id for the group id i don't even add this group id i don't even org spring framework boot framework boot artifact id artifact id spring boot starter the boot you don't need to add any versions also why go to here what is the version which is available in where spring boot starter dependencies what is the version of the spring boot starter web 1.5.6 it will bring all the required dependencies it will bring what dependencies are there spring tomcat is required validator is required Jackson is required, Spring Web is required, okay, MVC is required. What are the dependencies are required? It will bring all the dependencies. But who will give version of these okay, dependencies? Who will give version of these dependencies? These dependencies, oh, versions will be given by parent palm. Versions will be given by parent palm based on the your Spring Boot version. It will give all the all the versions. See here how the developer no need to struggle developer will only focus on only add one dependencies developer will only focus on add one starter dependencies this starter dependency will will bring all the required dependencies this starter dependencies will bring all the required dependencies of that future that future who will provide the versions spring boot who will provide the versions spring boot parent palm spring boot starter parent palm see how easy it is how easy it is if you want if you need 100 jars maybe 5 6 starter starter okay, dependencies are enough to bring all the 100 jars who will provide the versions of all these jars your spring boot parent palm will provide the versions now here the summary is spring boot starter parent palm spring boot starter starter parent palm is is used is used to provide the information is used to provide the information of all the all the all the libraries spring boot spring boot starter 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 future dependency is used is used to get the get the required required libraries libraries to develop to develop that future develop that future that is that is developer developer no need to add no need to add all the all the libraries just to add only just to add only one one starter dependency only one starter dependency any doubts team here till now hope did you get it why why you should go for spring boot why you know dependency management is easier in spring boot spring boot was introduced a concept is called starter okay dependencies so why spring boot okay, dependency is easier did you get it team or any questions team this is one of the future of this spring team now done next future we will see practically all these features still we are in here introductions okay features of spring boot only still we are into my 
introduction third chapter we are into here now second one auto configuration what is auto configuration can you explain what is configuration means configure the beans configure the beans using xml or java config or auto wire auto wire auto wire with component sir what is the drawbacks so if already okay, xml is there why you should go for java config we have seen what is the drawback there is no okay drawback with auto config sir but even though in our project we see okay, xml there are some drawbacks some drawbacks on okay, xml config we move to java config auto wire is used auto wire is is used to to reduce to reduce or remove the remove the configurations or remove the configurations either either in xml config or java config that's fine but still even though you did this auto wire still even though even though even though even though we are we are using auto wire we are using auto wire but still we are depending on depending on manual configuration depending on manual configurations manual configuration still we are depending on manual configurations that is that is we can't apply we can't apply apply at the rate component to far at the rate component to far all the classes all the classes all the classes we can apply at the rate component is for only the source code which is written by us the predefined framework classes we cannot write this you know at the rate component how can we know the framework classes that means see now see to remove to remove at the rate bean at the rate bean configurations at the rate bean or xml bean configurations we are using at the rate component we are using at the rate component but we can't apply we can't apply at the rate component for all the classes all the classes we can apply we can apply at the rate component only 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 which only the we can apply at the rate component we can apply at the rate component only which we have the source code but not apply for but can't apply for can't apply for framework framework classes framework classes like data source jdbc template rest template mongodb template if you want to use all in your project if you want to use all in your project third step if 
we want to use framework related classes framework classes then we should use we should configure them we should configure them as either at the rate bean or either at the rate bean or this bean element at the rate bean or this bean element please try to understand if you want to use framework classes then we should configure them that means hey still still even though still even though you are moved to auto configuration but still what should i do auto configuration auto configuration public class java config i need to write so many of configuration means at the rate bean public data source data source prepare the data source here return new data source return new data source understood team sorry new driver manager data source okay you should pass this your object is created here you should pass the username and password all you should do here just time if you want to create any some jdbc template at the rate bean you should pass public jdbc template now here you should go here okay return jdbc template let's do team like that we have to follow everything team like that we have to still we should write lot of configuration understood gaffor now what this spring boot will tell hey developers you don't worry all this stuff spring boot will tell you don't write this configuration itself you don't write this configuration itself everything will be taken care by who spring boot how everything will be taken care by spring boot i will explain your spring application zero configuration the spring boot goal is target is zero configuration you don't need to write any configuration class sir if any configuration class is not there if i want to use at the rate auto wire jdbc template how it will come at the rate auto wire data source how it will come okay i will explain you will explain sir try to understand try to understand here even though you are implementing uh, you know auto wire but still in our project you are unknowingly you are writing lot of configurations whenever you require the framework related classes still either you should declare those beans are using xml or those beans are you are using java config team using spring boot so using spring boot avoid avoid spring boot will avoid spring boot will remove will will remove all the configuration code it will enable it will enable auto configuration auto configuration with the help of with the help of at the rate spring boot application the help of at the rate spring boot application understood team auto configuration means instead of configure the beans beans either user defined beans or predefined means okay framework classes or predefined or framework beans okay instead of okay, okay instead of 
configure the beans by the developer developer spring boot will take care spring boot will take care to configure and create objects how to do that we'll see in depth we'll see that later in in okay in depth we'll see that later just to future i am telling here in depth we'll see first example we'll see practically we'll see that later okay now okay, next one team okay what is the next one next one is embedded server this is one of the beautiful topic is embedded server team what is this okay, embedded server you know server inside the application is called embedded server is called embedded server team server okay, okay inside the application is called embedded server in traditional application you have to deploy your application okay, explicitly into outside team that means i will give few points how to enable and all i will explain that later spring boot application spring boot application itself itself embedded itself 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 embedded itself itself having embedded itself having server is called embedded server team is called embedded server. i will give some just in traditional application in traditional means old application how it was here your tomcat here your tomcat you are deploying your here your application here your application no from outside you are deploying your application into tomcat From outside, you are deploying your application. Here, okay, inside of your Tomcat, your application will be deployed and you have some configurations. You have some configurations like Catalina dot properties, how many threads are required server.xml and so on all would be available team here one second okay if it is okay, embedded means okay okay inside of your application Embedded means okay, inside of your application, your Spring Boot application, you would have okay, inside of your Spring Boot application, you have your application as well as you have your Tomcat as well as your configuration. Tomcat inside of uh, Tomcat, you have a configurations means okay, your application itself you have a source code application means so during your application startup source code plus your tomcat during your application startup what happened your application will start and okay, deploy your entire source code into 
your whole application will be deployed into in this okay, tomcat team it is called embedded tomcat server okay it is called embedded tomcat server team very very advantage in the cloud in cloud or micro services this is this is more useful in in cloud in cloud in cloud why team why in cloud is required in your real time you know if you are using in production your application is running in production your application is running in 5 6 uh, vms vm means okay virtual machine or uh, you know it will be like um, 5 6 okay systems let's see here you have a one load balancer here you have a one load balancer means lb and our request will come request may go here request may go here and request may go here it is one system here it is system one here it is system two here it is system three your application is okay running on here let's assume that your application is okay running on here same application would be running on here same application would be running on here you are getting multiple request you are getting multiple request means request one request to two request in three you are getting multiple request t if use traffic will come what happened if it is traditional one you need to add one more system you need to add one more system if it is traditional one not embedded this new system you need to install the jdk you need to install the tomcat you need to do same configuration what configuration you did earlier same configuration you did same configuration what configuration is you did then only deploy the application to how much time it is the drawback is if configuration is missing it is a problem if configuration is missing it is the problem that's why if it is embedded right no need to configure no need to install tomcat only you just copy copy your application from here to here just to copy your application here to here if it is embedded means embedded means just to copy the application copy the application and run it that's it your application itself has embedded tomcat application itself will have your no configuration everything inside of the application only how many instances you can write you can write it's not a problem in cloud right so many times scaling scale out would be there in cloud many times scale in scale out would be there if you try to resolve these problems if you try to resolve these problems then what happened you know it would be easy so that's why in cloud embedded servers are very, very preferable team if you want to add 10 systems 10 systems what you should add 10 system you should add tomcat 10 system you should add this 10 system you should see it's manual it is very difficult to team it is very difficult in manual 
Understood? To overcome all these problems, we should go for this one thing. Understood? Next future is. The doubt stream okay, embedded. Now, okay, we'll see practically during our okay, publication of okay, development. Embedded means okay, instead of you deploy the outside, you know, of your okay, application, your application itself will have the server. How the application itself will have the server? Now we'll see practically. We'll see practically. Next to feature is called actuator team. What is actuator? See, generally before Spring Boot, if you develop any application, you know what happened, you know? There is a separate process. You need to you need to some dedicated team dedicated team dedicated team team to monitor the application now we need to check dedicated team to set up the to set up the below things like like set up the below things like you know how your application health okay health is okay okay health means your application is working fine properly or not is called health how to monitor your application how to get the metrics of your application how many beans are created how many okay threads are at runtime created any okay, threads issues is coming or not? How many free threads are there? How many active threads are there? How many usage of the threads are there? How to know? It's a big process. These are called non-functional requirements. That's why Spring Boot has given the future is called actuator. Actuator. It is usual to address all non-functional non functional requirements like fail to check how your application health is or not how to monitor your application you know how to get the metrics from application how many beans are created from the application you would say this is production ready features this will it has a production ready features it has production ready features. Okay, it has production ready future. This is production ready future stream. Understood? Or any questions? How to do? Now we'll see practically. All our basics now team. Okay, introduction only still. Another one is there. Okay, next feature is there here. Okay, Dev tools team. What is DevTools? I would explain this in upcoming. As of now, I will give some overview DevTools. This is called, it has development, a development of utilities. See, the main advantage of these tools are, it is used to, to improve the, to improve the, developer developer productivity that means if any if any changes done by the developer if any changes done by the developer these tools dev tools dev tools will take care will take care Compile, compile and deploy the compile, regenerate jar, deploy, deploy application, deploy application into server automatically. Automatically. Okay. Instead of developer will do all it will take care automatically how it will take care now we'll see practically how it will take care now we'll see practicality sixth one 
yes spring boot without xml yes spring spring boot goal is don't use xml anywhere even java config also don't use anywhere next one team opinionated opinionated but highly customizable that means see still still so spring boot has provided spring boot has provided default versions comma default default required libraries but still but still but still we can spring boot has provided default version and default required libraries but still we can still we can we can use our own our own dependencies still we can use our own okay, dependencies team our own okay, dependencies our own dependencies how to use and all we will discuss team last one spring boot cli what is spring boot cli now here see it is you know command line interface spring boot command line interface used to used to develop the used to quick quick application development quick application development it is used to quick application development from the from the command line interface from the command line interface these are the advantage of the spring boot team if you start see if you start this okay, application development i will explain practically every future team just i am giving introduction here if already spring boot is there why you should go for if already spring is there why you should go for spring boot spring boot is not replacement of the spring framework spring boot is you know spring boot is was okay introduced to one of the model in spring framework it will help it will help uh, you know to develop the spring based applications quickly so spring boot uh, you know if you develop a spring you know plain spring application plain spring framework you can what are the applications you can develop you can use all the applications using spring boot because spring boot is the combination of all the spring modules the only thing is wherever boilerplate was there by using spring framework wherever unnecessary configuration is there wherever the problem struggles by the de developers all the problems overcome by the spring boot spring boot will tell hey developer you should focus on only coding you should focus on only coding you don't focus on dependencies too much you don't focus on configurations you don't focus on server auto deploy you don't focus on okay now here what is the non functional requirements everything will take care you only write the logic you only write your application logic that's it enough understood team now this is what features of this spring boot now next one how to create spring boot applications how to create spring boot application Sir, summary of the future is summary on spring boot futures you try to understand you try to understand developer developer should not waste their time developer should not waste their time by spending on by spending on manual work manual work like a manual a manually manual configuration b manually added manual dependencies 
dependencies C set up set up for monitor your application B deploying application so why I am writing horizontal means you can write you can see all at once deploy application into external server understood E every time for every changes redeployment for every changes every ch changes Red, redeployment for every changes it should not waste their time by spending manual by spending on manual work who will take care spring boot will take care all the about things and ask to develop our ask to develop our focus on focus on only coding understood sir next one how to create how to create spring boot application how to create Spring Boot application? Now, first one using Eclipse IDE. I don't want to use command prompt, please. Next one using using start to dot Spring IO. Third one using Spring Tool Shoot IDE. Using Spring Tool Shoot IDE. See, if I use Eclipse IDE, what happened? If you use Eclipse IDE, developer need to add the need to add the dependencies need to add the dependencies manually in form dot number one number two spring configurations need to add manually that is IDE will not will not help IDE will not help id will not help on id will not help on predefined configurations i will show you practically so now now what happened if you have any okay clips ide go here and open this ide just i want to show what is the drawback with this Meanwhile, I will write some. If you use this one, second one, yes, this site will provide the zip file. Here, developer, developer will choose all the required dependencies and plugins and so on etc we will generate the zip file and we will generate the zip file and download it we can unzip and import into eclipse ide import into eclipse ide but i would say this is also is 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 not recommended let's see it is my okay eclipse ide what i should do file new others maven project maven project 
there is no spring boot project create spring create simple project or whatever it com dot cnotech dot com dot cnotech dot demo what i should use spring boot iphone demo i should go to here this is spring boot demo click on finish this is a normal java project Maven. what should i do i should go to here i should go to my google windows preferences font colors edit i should go to google google i should spring boot parent i should add manual i should add everything what are the starter dependencies are there you should go to the google or you should know already parent parent i should type it manually since it is a parent dependency is not required okay now parent 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 is done now what i should do I should go dependencies i need to add manually i don't want to waste my productivity time i don't want to waste dependencies add all your starter dependencies go to the google add all your starter dependencies every spring boot application some property files are required i should create properties files manually every spring boot application spring boot startup class is there i should add this class manually see unnecessarily manual effort what should i do so option to go to this website com dot example hey what dependencies you want you can search you want to spring web dependencies yes what dependencies you want you want jdbc dependencies yes you can give your own group id com dot you can give whatever you want what is the package name what is the group id artifact id which version of jdk you want jdk 8 version what version you want 2.5.9 version everything generate you got the zip file what you will do go to that zip file and extract it go to this zip file extract it extract it see come to your IDE import maven project existing maven project means this they see this this website is providing everything website is providing parent and website is providing starter dependency of jdbc starter dependence web book everything will give this okay website so why i should go for this website every time i should do it i should download it okay it will improve your okay time okay but instead of doing manual instead of going your okay, website always recommended you should go for this ide now see what is this ide I am clean up everything. Always go for Spring Tool Shoot. Always go to Spring Tool Shoot. Now what it will do? File 
new spring boot starter project whenever you will give this spring boot starter it will connect to, to this see this this is okay exposing one rest end point the starter dot spring boot dot io is okay exposing one of rest end point you are going to give what is your spring boot demo app name is this your group id com dot srinutech your version is 1.0 demo project for spring boot package is com dot srinutech just try to understand very very important it is click on next what dependencies you want you want any other other dependencies if you see what are the dependencies you want it will add automatically into your your palm.xml you want spring web you want reactive you want what dependencies you want click on next see internally it will connect to it will connect to your third one using sts ide okay. instead of you will download unzip all this stuff what version it is there if you see here it will connect to your your spring tool suit what is the spring boot artifact id what is the group id artifact id and spring boot versions and all group id artifact id and spring boot versions and all please try to understand team see it will take care team everything it is trying to connect to your it will try to connect to your application team this one download zip and okay, extracting unzip everything it will taken care finally I would give that project to Spring Boot Dashboard Windows Appearance Show View Project Explorer. See, you got the Spring Boot Demo App. See, got the SRC main. I would explain this one SRC main resource. Here we have a palm.xml. Here we have a palm.xml. Very, very important. What is Spring Boot project structure? Spring Boot project structure. Project name. Here we do have. Entries from dot XML. Next entry is SRC. SRC main Java. Very, very important here see here your package name com dot stenotech here all this source code is available this is application dot java or whatever it is here src main here we have okay resources src main under the search of resources, you have resources is called application properties file team. See, all your entire Spring Boot, I told right features, embedded Tomcat, auto con, you know, auto configuration, everything is depending on this one thing. Everything is okay depending on this one. It is like magic like anything all your spring boot so your spring boot project structure is under com.cinotech first it is team 
it is very very important application dot, dot class after that so many classes will be there that we should ignore after that so many will be there com dot cnotech dot controller com dot cnotech dot that all will okay okay but ignore spring boot project structure is project name your pom dot xml your under src main it is the your spring boot it is the your spring boot spring boot main class which will start it will start spring boot application it will start spring boot application which will start how to start we'll see all we'll see internals after the break we'll see internals if you run spring application dot run method internally i will open the source code internally what will be happened what how auto configuration we will be enabled using at the rate spring boot application how at the rate spring boot application internally will work how the at the rate internal at the rate spring boot application internally will work understood team these are very very okay important to team okay so it is the see using this if you if you are using okay sts ide so many shortcuts so many futures will give team see these futures will not given in your okay eclipse ide that's why if you are if you want to develop your spring applications using sts ide it will provide the inbuilt it will okay it will provide the help us all this commands team if you don't know how to use uh, you know spring dot okay, spring dot okay active dot or spring dot uh, spring dot profiles active see if you don't know anything if you type it it will provide it's like a okay, help team ide is not no okay eclipse ide is it say it's not provide this kind of help team that's why always recommended you should go for this okay spring tool site plus to team any questions any questions till now so now you are good with spring boot structure how to create the spring boot now my biggest question is what will happen when spring application dot run method spring application dot run method will execute next question is how how does auto configuration will work internally we'll see in break team so in 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 after break we will start with our spring core of examples team we will start with our spring core of examples okay our our target is before lunch we would finish this spring core afternoon spring mvc let's see team how it happens okay any questions team till now okay okay can ask uh hi sir okay. yeah please sir uh like uh, in sts we have a support for that uh, adding dependency automatically yeah uh, in the same way do we have this support in intellij id yeah okay intellij also is there sir uh, okay yeah so okay, intellij also is there yeah so for this set uh, to in this workshop we will going to uh, work on sts only right not yes, yes. because it is open source okay intellij is not open source but trial versions are there but it is not open source the moment if you are trying to download intellij it is asking some license code and all okay 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 got it okay thank you and also on large uh, uh, projects and more companies are using okay sts very some you know, proprietary companies you know they will be used for id uh, okay intelligence okay thank you yeah understood yeah
so very very important is every spring boot application every spring boot application spring boot project structure is spring boot project structure is project name pom.xml src main com.stenotech here it is a spring boot main class which will start your spring boot application which will start your spring boot application now here see have you added any dependency team forgot about this okay, tester and plugins at that time forgot about this plugins a unit have you added any dependency team no the default dependency of your spring boot is spring boot starter spring boot starter team see to start your spring boot application to start your spring boot application what are there inside of the spring boot starter team it is a starter dependency see spring boot starter will have please try to understand spring boot starter will have spring core spring boot starter will have spring boot auto configure spring boot starter will have spring boot so these many okay, dependencies are in their team very very important please okay, try to understand these many okay, dependencies are there now point number one it is a spring boot application what is the code here public dot public class your application name may be anything public static wide main public static wired main so right click on it it is a main method it is a main method you can run your spring boot application run as spring boot app proceed now here see run as okay spring boot app now proceed team now please okay, try to okay, understand here what is happening here you should try to okay, understand team so what happened here spring boot banner spring boot starting spring boot demo application using jdk8 it is my laptop name with the process id everything no active profiles in set no active profiles in set now falling back default profiles is called default started your spring boot application started your spring boot application jvm running of 2.6.33 now done thing now what is the important stuff please see here okay, important stuff please see here important one number one when you run your spring boot application when spring boot application dot start method will be okay, executed when spring boot application dot start method will be okay, executed what will be happen internally team what will be happen okay, internally is very 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 important most of the interviews are asking the question is okay what will happen question is what will happen when we call spring application dot run method team question is okay interviews are asking what will happen when we call when we call spring application dot run method team see now first i will explain see generally generally now here see spring boot is used spring boot is used to develop okay here your project structure is done chapter one is done now spring core spring core started okay now 
spring boot is used to develop develop end to end end to end applications that means you can develop controller you can develop business layer you can de develop dao everything you can develop but now here an interesting one is you can develop using spring boot you can develop using spring boot we can develop standalone application we can develop web application we, we can develop standalone application web application we can develop distributed application what's your team no hope you know okay everyone knows if it is standalone application okay, if it is standalone application a yeah. now what we'll do application context context is equal to new annotation config application context if it is dava config if it is your xml new class path xml something if it is web application here application context application okay web context context is equal to new annotation config web application context spring recently new one came new one came is okay, reactive means to make your okay, event based programming spring uh, was also introduced okay, reactive based applications spring also has started reactive based applications at the time you should go for spring reactive based applications team at the time you should go for spring reactive that means i would say here using this spring we can develop web applications you can develop standalone applications and also we can develop and also we can develop reactive based applications also team we can develop reactive based applications also but your question is how my spring okay how how your spring boot knows how your spring boot knows how the spring boot knows see here it is a standalone it is a reactive and all annotation config if it is for web application it will create new annotation config annotation config servlet servlet web server application context team web server application context see if it is reactive applications team it is a reactive applications or this thing will do annotation config annotation config reactive based applications team annotation config reactive instead of servlet here reactive you know very very important let's assume that it is using spring boot now i will go for spring core new maven project create simple project from dot Cinotech artifact ID Spring Core demo Spring Core demo. This is Spring Core applications. 
spin core application you see team practically we'll see now this is spring core application team now what happened here if you see you have a class calm dot synotech now i will go for with the simple one class a team my class a is okay depending on class b okay class a is okay depending on class b team so how to make this class a and all we'll see practically so my class a is okay depending on class b let's assume that class b also is available here i want a simple team i don't want go for all this my class a is okay depending on class b both are either you should go for component you should go for auto wire or you know you should go for b or whatever it see i have yet two classes team in spring i have a class a class a is okay depending on class b class a is okay depending on class b please try to understand so what you should do here a is a dependent object is a or dependency dependency or target object in spring how many ways we can perform dependency injection how many ways in spring core in spring core dependency injections dependency injection team there are three ways we can do a okay, dependency injection team one is setter injection hope everyone knows another one is constructor injection another one is auto wire team another one is field level injection field level injection field level injection this is possible only in okay, auto wire team this is possible only in auto wire team please try to understand this is possible only in auto wire only in auto wire team that's it now good so now i have a class a class b okay instead of okay depending on why it is it is eclipse i am i want to close this eclipse go to my spring tool shoot so i have class a and class b how my class a is okay depending on class b team you should add plain spring means class java config either you should go for okay, xml you should go for java config team you need to use at the rate right you need to use at the rate hmm at the rate okay anyone configuration Red. the reason why it is not coming means you should add this spring core okay dependencies you should add this spring core okay dependencies here spring core maven dependency whatever version is there you can give it's not a problem spring core will bring spring context then spring context to maven dependency 5.3.0 will use all ones 
I am using plain spring team. I am using plain spring. I have added these two okay, dependencies. Go to Java configuration. Other it configuration team. Two ways you can do. Just a simple. I am not writing anything. Public void m2 system dot out dot println m2 method same one i am using here m1 it is m1 method but here interested one is i am calling my b how to call here b is okay important b b if you are calling b via constructor but who will who will supply the objects this dot b is equal to b okay if you are my a is okay depending on b i am getting b object via constructor i am getting this b object via constructor but this is once you got this constructor now what you will do b dot m2 somewhere you should configure right you are configuring here public b b b i am creating return if it is okay, xml b in id is equal to, if it is xml b in id is equal to class you should write i got the b object how to inject into b thread b in public a a how to create at the a you need to pass the your b b here return new a of that's it it is your spring configuration steam it is your spring java configuration please no all are all are good all are good but how to execute team new class new class new class spring core test new class okay test application very very important team now here now here see now i have a configuration and i have a classes in configuration i declared all as a bean in configuration all i have declared as a bean now please see here now go to here now i need to create my container context is equal to new annotation config application context new annotation config application context java config dot class java config dot class java config dot class now whenever this statement it will be executed hope you know in our previous week workshop this you have a config team i will give just for highlights you have a configuration either this configuration is maybe xml or configuration is maybe a java config or co configuration maybe a you know xml or java config is try to understand the team if any doubts you can stop me any doubts okay okay you can stop me team please if you are not asking means i thought we are good 
if you are not asking means i thought we are good okay ask okay 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 ask in the middle and stop me now here see it is a java configuration team it is a java configuration now what happened here either you can configure using xml or you can configure using java config you can configure using xml or you can configure using java configuration if you give this configuration to if you give this configuration to whom your dependency injector if you give this configuration to your spring application context context is equal to new annotation application context pass your configuration here configuration either in the form of xml or java config whenever the statement will be executed what it will do you know your spring container would be created your spring container will be created here what happened you got a you got b your b will be injecting into first b object will be created then a object will create and of supply this okay, dependencies to a this is what happening it may be happening via setter it may be happening via getter it may be happening with everything team now here who will creating this container who is creating team who is creating here developer is creating this container manually whenever you want a bean Context to dot get b of a you got a see context to dot get b of b dot class now what it returns or a dot class here i got the a class a a so try to understand in system dot out dot print ln a is no need this SOP and all a dot m1 that's it so if you run this application m1 and m2. so you are injecting your b any questions team you can ask team you are injecting your b from a you are injecting your b into a is see via shutter injection is called shutter injection uh, sorry via constructor is called constructor injection you are injecting your b via shutter public by it sorry team. so if you are injecting your b in via a constructor it is called constructor injection alt sr now i am applying shutter here alt sr now see whenever you change your code your okay, it will give here error if it is xml configuration okay it won't give because of xml is not a type safety because of xml is not a type safety that's why your xml will not give any okay, error until unless you okay, deploy the application into your server then only okay, you will be able to know here what you should do here you need to create a object a, a is equal to new a a dot a dot set b why inside of a class 
Oh, I applied only getters, not setters. Let's see. All tests are select setters. Go to here. Set B. Okay. Now okay, return here. A. Done. Okay. If you are applying, you are dip. Okay. You are injecting. You are A into B. You are injecting your B into A via shutter injection. Via okay. Shutters e is called shutter injection. See here. But good. And I should go for Java. Okay. Auto wire. I don't want to use huge configuration here. I don't want to go for huge configuration here. I should go for auto wire. I don't want to use this one. But your A class should be a bean. If it is not bean, your spring will give error. A is not a at least one component or it will give okay, error. No such bean definition of okay, exception here. No qualifying bean of type this one. Now, to overcome this, what you should do, you know, if your classes should be declaring as at the rate component, your B class is okay declaring as at the rate component. Hey, you declared at the rate component, how your spring knows these classes during your spring started, wherever configuration is there, here you are specifying at the rate component scan either you can give package level or you can give classes depends um dot cnotech you understand now you are removing almost most of the boilerplate code or not you are removing more boilerplate code or not See, you are able to remove complete boilerplate code. So, with the help of a component, now how to inject earlier in injecting via this configuration? Now, how to inject? Oh, you want to inject via setter? Use here at the rate auto wire. That's it. At the rate auto wire is, is used to, to apply the dependency injection. If you are setter, you should go for here. If it is constructor, you should give here. Okay, that's it. Now, you will go to your test application. Run as Java application. Okay. Hope you are good as of now. But, where is the problem, you know, in our project? These at the rate component can apply only if the source code is in our control. At the rate component is used only the source code is in our control means the source code which is written by the developers. I cannot apply at the rate component for framework classes like JDBC, like data source, like you know uh, Redis Cache. I can't implement, I can't apply this at the rate component for the framework classes if you want to develop your project your project may require so many framework classes all the framework classes you should be defined here only at the rate jdbc template at the rate bean rest template at the rate bean hibernating template everything all framework beans you have to define in our config class so now here the question is if we use spring if we use spring core then then developer responsible then developer responsible then developer responsible a right configuration b b create the Devosing container create bright configurations create 
IOC container now. So now we have seen spring, spring story done. Now come to my spring boot. Now what I am doing here, you know, new, new classes, com dot Srinotech com dot Srinotech dot ins a same code I am I am using here intentionally I am writing same code B if you are not trusting I will copy this a B I have written earlier copy paste into a b here only i am not copy paste anywhere a b here that's it now now here the interested one is at the rate spring application dot run method what it returns it returns configurable context context dot get bin of dot class what it returns a, a. a dot text dot get bin of m1 method is undefined oh sorry i did not save this a dot spring boot application what is there let's see m1 and m2 m1 and m2 team Na number one Please okay, respond. Please okay, respond. Have you apply any configuration here? Have you apply any configuration here? Suppose if it is not a spring bean, it will give error. If it is not a spring bean, it would give error. See what error you got means. See what is error? B set to B bean of type could not be found means it is compulsory a bean either bean you will give java config bean you will give alternate component that's fine but bean should be a spring bean but interesting one is have you written anywhere alternate con have you written anywhere alternate configuration class here team here please please ask no right have you using spring boot have you created spring container manually you using spring boot in spring boot the question is 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 developer is developer create is developer create spring container is developer is developer will write the configuration will write the configuration understood team is, is developer create the spring container is developer will write the configuration no now what happened what happened when spring application dot run method will be executed please okay, respond team please hope you are clear okay you are following me team okay, any doubts okay you can ask me so developer has the responsibility developer has the okay, responsibility you know okay uh, you are okay your spring boot has the okay, responsibility to to enable auto configuration and to create the 
spring container automatically how now here see whenever this statement will be executed team whenever spring boot dot application run method will be executed what happens first i will show you next i will write this steps also team see first go to this run method it is a static method it is calling another run method here two are calling one is spring application is the constructor one is spring application is the constructor other one is run method other one is run method now please try to understand team what application this will be executed what happened this run method will be executed whenever spring application constructor would be executed spring application constructor would be executed now here see how many constructor we have we have many constructors here not only one spring application Constructor would be okay. And here, first one, it will be created in some hash set. Second one, web application type deduce from class path. What is this okay, deduce from class path? This deduce from class path will be decided what type of container you want. Using Spring Boot, you can develop a standalone application, you can develop app application, you can develop reactive application. What container you want? Understood, right? See, if you open this method, see what is there? If you are, if you are, Okay, input to type now it will read it will read your class path it will read your class path means it will read your all the jars if your jar file will have any reactive classes if your jar file will have any react classes it will create the reactive container if your jar file will have any any web classes it will create the it will create the web container if your jar file is nothing will be nothing will be any okay found then default one is standalone class it would be created default one is standalone class container it would be created so dead use class path you, you don't need to create developer no need to create developer no need to create who will create it who will create it you your spring boot will spring boot based on the your palm.xml what dependencies you have added it will go for your application class path in your class path what jars are present if your class path jars are present above application, it will create the above application container. If your class path will have the will have the reactive, it will create the reactive container. If your class path none means no reactive, no above application, then it should create the default container is called applications that is standalone container would be created. Yeah. Any questions, team? You, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything, team. Any questions, please ask. Okay? Now, now once it is done. So, once it is done, team. Please try to understand, team. So, here after that, some register or initializer, something listeners or initializers will be executed. That's fine. Okay, next one. Now you will go to where run method. 
run method so go to your application we'll go for run method run method internally will call spring application spring application will take care will take care it will decide what type of container you want in my project as of now i don't have any web jars i don't have any reactive i need only standalone container it would create the standalone container and give to us understood now after that it will go for run method whenever run method will be executed what happened first start it will stop okay stop watch means your application will started you know started time will be printed stop watch dot start here your start how much time you are your spring application starting time it will be decided see now bootstrap context go to this bootstrap context so here just it will be okay initialize all the okay it will be okay, initialize all the okay, required classes to start our spring boot application it will initialize all the required classes to start out to start our spring boot application next one team come to here application arguments prepare environment prepare environment team why it is environment i would explain prepare environment means it will prepare do you know in spring how many ways you can read the properties file in spring team how many ways in spring properties file you can in spring core how many ways read the properties file one is using environment another one is is using environment another one is okay, next one is using at the rate value using at the rate value team how to load the properties file how to load the properties file in spring at the rate property source you should give here class path colon your properties file name once you will be load this into memory so using environment object you can get the values from that properties file or using value annotation we can get the values from the properties file now why i am telling all these things now please try to understand team whenever this statement will be executed flow will go to where your spring application dot run here what happened environment object will be created why environment object will be created i will explain after environment object will be created configure ignore bean here this class has the okay, responsibility to load this properties file what properties file here we have application dot properties file this application dot properties file always referred with the, this environment object okay, referred with environment object that's fine no, now here so okay, next one it will print the banner here is the banner here it is the banner it will print the banner after that what happened so it will try to create the application context application context context is equal to new annotation config application context it will create the application context object until now here don't have any application context here now we are creating application context team understood now 
once all it would be done then prepare the context refresh the context i would explain that after that call runner team after that call runner team so any questions team here okay, any questions team here spring boot see again okay again okay i will explain how okay, i am stopping all like everything and i start this it is the spring boot entry classes it is the spring boot entry class if this is not there run as nothing will work you got an error see ORG Spring Framework known such bean of okay, definition no qualifying bean of A. How A? Even though you are not applying any configuration, other rate Spring Boot application will enable the configuration that will come to here. First we will see what happened in Spring application dot run method is calling. What happened when Spring application dot run method is calling? Based on the type of the application, it will provide an auto configuration. It will provide an auto configuration based on the based on the type of your application. Type of your application boot will provide an boot will provide an auto configuration. Boot will provide an auto configuration. Understood? Any questions team? Okay, let me write some few points. Then again, I will write. Again, I will write team question. What is the question? And the statement will be executed. First, this statement what happened? Spring application. Loaded. This is the this is the static method static method from spring application dot class spring application dot class so spring application constructor will take care to identify to identify which container is required to identify which container is required which container is required okay team spring application constructor will take care to identify which container is required it will take care if it is it is see it will that is it will looks for here there is a method is called deduce from class path go for this spring one go for this run method go for this one So now here deduce from class path class path method method deduce from class path method will will check will will check will check in class path will check in class path We'll check in class path based on classes find in class path based on classes find in class path then 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 responding responding spring container will be created corresponding spring container will be created you will not create who will create it spring boot will take care internally you understood sir it will identify 
which a container is required after that you will create an empty environment object after that it will create an empty environment object it will detects detects the configuration detects the configuration for our application loads loads into environment object here okay detects means in our project you have any application dot properties or you have any book application dot yaml file what is yaml and all we'll see practically i will explain are you clear team based on the configuration it detects the configuration of our application and loads into environment object loads into environment object is it clear team once it is loaded into your environment object now what happened third one now fourth one team so you know what is if it is a publication what object if it is standalone what object all you know i think once it is done okay then instantiate instant okay okay instantiate then create till now are you clear team okay, next one see I will stop for okay some time here now. So till now we you know done good now next one. Go to here. Run as Java application. You you got the look output to team. Now. How many beans are created during your startup? Context to dot. Get to bean. Get to bean definitions. It is a it is a string rating. Beans. Can you control one? It is a string array. How to display the string array? For string bean beans. System dot out dot print bean is run as. See how many? So many beans. All these beans are helpful to make our our Spring Boot project as a auto configure. How this auto configure will work? I will show you practically. If you see here, wherever auto configure is there during your application startup so many auto configuration classes will be there all the auto configuration classes who would be loaded during your spring boot startup of the application now we'll see how this auto configure will work i will come team again okay i will come to here now go to here your ide go to your ide just uh, i want to give that uh, how many beans system dot out dot print ln context dot it bean count
context dot get to be in definition how many will be there approximately okay approximately here 40 14 6 beans would be created all these beans are for what auto configuration now the question is how the auto configuration will work Now simple answer is the rate spring boot application is okay responsible for is okay responsible for is responsible for enable enabling enabling spring boot auto configuration Spring Boot application annotation. Spring Boot application annotation he is okay responsible for auto Spring Boot auto configuration. He is okay responsible for auto configure annotation. Why? Please see team. Very, very important team. People are asking. Great. Spring Boot application is equal. See what happened. Three annotations. See. At the rate Spring Boot configuration. At the rate enabled configuration. Then, other red spring board configuration. Okay, enable auto configuration. See, which is then component scan. I would say spring board annotation is combination of operate component scan plus operate enable auto configuration plus plus at the rate spring boot configuration red spring boot now actual game will start now team actual game will start i would say I would say spring boot configuration. Go to your code spring boot configuration. What is that here? It is a configuration. It is a one kind of configuration class. That's it. Just to for more maintainable, more readable, they rename the change from spring configurations to spring boot configuration that's it understood sir at the rate spring boot indicates indicates that class provides boot the class provides boot application team please try to understand if any doubts okay you can ask me at the rate spring boot application is nothing but it's just too far one Spring Boot application just to for one. It is a one Spring Boot configuration is nothing but it is a one twenty at the rate Spring Boot configuration. Try to understand. This is this is like a Spring configuration class. This is like spring configuration class. Just to for naming convention spring boot spring boot use spring boot uses at the rate spring boot configuration. 
what is what is okay, next annotation the rate component scan at the rate component scan team at the rate component scan you will scan you will scan the component classes package level comma class level it will scan the component class it will scan the component class at package level comma class level at package level comma class level team default package name is current package t default package name is current package default package name is current package that's why in your real time in your real time your project structure is this Sir, you may ask, sir, can I write instead of other rate Spring Boot application? Can I write other rate Spring Boot Auto configuration? Can I write other rate one is Spring Boot Auto configuration, another one is other rate components? And you can write instead of writing too many, they are writing only one that is called Spring Boot application instead of writing too many add only one configuration that is called okay that is called okay spring boot application now here team please first one sir here what is at the rate component scan filter custom remove all these things by default at the rate component scan is the base package here is your at the rate component scan here means your spring boot also available here base package means for what base package means by default current package by default current package that's why that's why now here see your spring boot application main class always will be at root package main class always will be at root package remaining classes will no need to available at root package remaining classes com dot .controller. com dot .controller service remaining here you may give here simple class controller okay, remaining here you can write here new class com dot cenotech service product service remember here it is a service you may have other rate component here it is a service you may have other rate rest controller is nothing but component only here it is not the rest controller because i did not add any okay dependencies let's assume that team please try to understand here concept okay try to understand by default so at the rate component scan, it will scan the component class at package level. If you are not specifying, default is current package. Here is your default, your current package, this one. If any, if, if it will be start the scanning of this class, all child classes also, it would be impacted or not. 
see what is the component scan if you configure root package it will scan child packages also okay example at the rate component scan base package if you give your base package is this only service package classes only it will be scanned if you give it is a controller only controller packages only it will be scanned okay. next one if you give com dot synotech then sorry sir it will give com dot synotech then it will scan it will scan it will scan com dot synotech and child packages also com dot synotech and child packages also please try to understand that's why you don't need to provide any other rate out of configuration you don't need to provide any configuration classes why are the rate component scan will take care to configure all the classes with the help of other rate component scan annotation i would say in your project all the user defined classes all the user defined classes it will be scanned automatically by whom at the rate component scan it will be scanned automatically by whom at the rate component scan so indirectly what happened in your spring boot application you got the at the rate component scan in your spring boot application you got the configuration you are not writing that's it but internally it will be using other component scan and other component other component scan and other configuration sir understood sir now last one very very important how are the rate here we have three things at the rate enable auto configuration how at the rate enable auto configuration will work note here very very important i would say note here redefined so it is it is used to scan Easy to scan user defined packages. It is used to scan user defined packages. Now, very very important is at the rate enabled auto configuration. What will do? Any guess team? Any guess? It is used. provide the framework related framework related classes auto configuration it is used to provide framework related framework related it is used to enable auto configuration for for the framework related classes i will show you how it will be executed see you have to remember in our spring starter auto configure go to last here meta nf spring factories these many auto configuration classes are there 
these many auto configuration classes are there. These many auto configuration classes are there. What is the auto configure classes? I will, okay, will explain to you. First one, you want data or okay, dispatcher servlet data source. See data source configuration. JDBC template. Jackson JNDA. All you don't need to create manually. Who will take care? Your Spring Boot will take care. Spring Boot has the responsibility, uh, you no, know, as the responsibility to make them as okay. At the rate Spring Boot, okay, at the rate enabled auto configuration. At the rate enable auto configuration is usually to to enable auto configuration for the framework classes where it is available spring starter spring boot starter jar it is available in spring boot starter jar from this package it will load what it will load meta nf it will load meta inf slash string dot factories Whenever this file it would be loaded during your application startup, all these things will be happening. It will load all the classes. How many classes are there in the class path? All the classes. Okay, understood, sir. This spring of dot. So many auto configuration classes. See, I have printed right here. you can take any one of the class configuration properties what happened configuration processor see configuration properties auto configure cache auto configuration Spring batch auto configuration. Here key is enable auto configuration. Value is list of all the predefined, all the framework classes. All the framework classes. When this one will be executed. When this one will be executed. I will explain to you. So, a okay, very, very important team. How the other rate configure work in, an, in, a, in our project? You will tell Spring Boot. Okay, you will tell Spring Boot. Okay, other rate Spring Boot application annotation is okay, responsible for enabling Spring Boot auto configuration for our project classes. Other rate Spring Boot configuration is nothing but other rate configuration only. Other rate component scan. It is usually to scan all the components class, all the component classes at the package level or class level. Default package name is current package. Default package name is current package. It is usually to scan user defined. It is usually to scan user defined classes. Please try to understand if any doubts, okay, you can ask me, okay, I will explain, okay, I will explain. So, because of these many classes, your Spring Boot was, startup was happening. If, if these classes is not there, 
your spring boot will not be created see i would see i will stop this one thing i will stop this one close all go to your spring boot application i will close this will it work see if you stop your spring boot application what happened did you get any output and all nothing if you stop your spring boot application what happened just internal configuration have you seen anywhere auto configuration classes except one have you seen anywhere auto configuration classes team here no if you use this one if you use this one see you now what happened here see so many auto configuration classes team so many understood again i will explain team please where i am spending here much time okay instead of you will write at the red spring boot application you can write here either at the red spring boot configuration and at the red component scan and at the red at the red enable auto configuration instead of you will write in three this is okay declaring as which is okay equal as configuration it is okay equal as configuration we can declare using at the rate configuration at the rate configuration at the rate component scan it is used to scan the scan the scan the project classes scan the our project source code component like a comma b like a comma b based on the specified classes common packages if not specified default is default is base package if not specified default is default is base package default is base package if not specified default is base package what at the rate auto configuration will do it is used to it is used to create it is used to all the it is used to scan it is used to create the framework in the bracket predefined classes it is used to create the predefined classes with the help of spring dot factor is file Okay, in depth, you'll see that later, team. In depth, you'll see that later. Hope you are clear. What is other rate enabled configuration will do? It will load all the configurations from this file and it will create the object. How to create the object and all, we'll see that next step, team. Now, here, see. Go to here. Now, go to here, our step. 
no okay what is ours here how this what happened this you know what happened when spring application dot run method will be okay, executed in spring application dot okay run method will be okay, executed what are the steps would be okay, involved team first step is it will identify okay it will identify what is the class team okay it will identify what type of container we should create team okay, next one is i would explain very clear whenever spring application dot okay run method will be okay, executed step number one it will create an empty environment object number two will detect external configuration of our application it will detect external configuration of our application and loads into environment object that means if you go here this property file whatever properties file you have so here i can give username so you know i can give password welcome one two three something so you know it, okay, it will detect and creates an empty environment object read this properties file and it will be loads into environment object third one it will print boot banner there is the banner here it will print boot banner team third one now i will show you how the banner is there first one application dot run run method run method see it will it will prepare an environment object it will loads the configuration properties file and then it will create the banner print to banner it will looks for banner mode is off means it will not create banner mode on means it will create understood how to off or an i will explain team okay, don't worry so print the banner now fourth one identifies type of application identifies type of publication type a if if the class path if the class path if the class path or if spring mvc jars found in the class path if spring mvc jars found in the class path then 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 treat as then treat the web application type is equal web web is equal web and it creates and it creates what it will create creates application context cd it will create application context application context one second it will go for here run method it 
it will create it will come here create application context based on the application application context team here you have if it is a publication what will be happen one second configurable bean not here go for your spring application here deduce from class path here you got what is a okay, publication type if it is a publication is web one then you got the create of the what type this one if it is servlet application if it is a web application it will created as a annotation config servlet application annotation config servlet a web application if it is reactive it will created as a reactive application it creates annotation config servlet web server application context b b if if spring webplex spring webplex jars are found then then treat treat the web application type is okay reactive type is okay reactive then then it will create web application is reactive and and creates what object team annotation same here creates annotation config instead of servlet here it should be creative as reactive if none of the one is created b c if none of the above then then treat as treats the okay, application type is none web application type is none then then okay default one is then it creates annotation annotation application context annotation application context object is being created once it is created now okay fifth one it will instantiate it will okay instantiate please please it will be okay instantiate the spring factories spring factories and register them and register with ioc container and registered with ioc container instantiate the spring factories and register with ioc how to instantiate while executing this one at the rate enable auto configuration at the rate enable auto 
configuration at the rate import auto config import selector there is a one method is called get candidate configuration see spring factories loader dot get load names this class has the responsible this class has the responsible load the this class has the responsible load the spring dot factories returns the auto configuration class name that should be considered by default it will load all the candidates candidates means this spring factory is dot load factory names this class has the responsible to lo load all the factories of this one spring boot auto configure factories understood team that's why so during okay, instantiate the spring factories and okay, registered with ioc container after that it will execute the application context of initializer why application context initializer you will detect all the configuration oh, okay, seventh one see here okay, seventh one go to again your predefined classes i'm closing all maybe first time it is okay difficult if you are trying to okay, understand okay, it will be easy go for here run method here it will try to create at the what type of container you want that container will be created by here it prepares the environment loads the that properties file automatically prepare the banner and created the your application context object after prepare after creating the context object now here see prepare context preparing context means here actually your actually your okay, application startup would be happened here actually here application startup would be happened here prepare context that's so all it would be happened refresh context refresh means all the beans will be stored will be stored in our last one during the above stages it will publish various different types of events and events and events and invokes listeners to perform operation to perform operation t so this would happen whenever you start your spring application dot run method if you know this one okay remaining easy team spring core it will be easy if you know this one you may ask sir i don't need any configuration okay, how it works hey your configuration will work with the help of component scan whatever classes you are writing here in your project you may write so many classes in your project you may write so many classes in your project you may write dao also com dot sinotech dot dao here you should give product dao but still without alternating configuration without external any configuration okay it will work how it will work how it will work 
see here by default at the rate component scan is there by default at the rate component scan is there so at the rate component scan default to package is if you provide the package okay if you will not provide default package is current package my current package is com.cnotech under com.cnotech what are the child packages are there it will scan all the classes at the rate spring boot configuration means it's just like configuration but at the rate enable auto configuration means okay internally you will see other enable auto configuration value in web application internally it will to start your spring boot application to start your spring boot application so many initializer classes are required all the initializer classes will be loaded before start your spring boot application with the help of other enable auto configuration how it will work I will show you practically team how it will work I will show you practically team now here see okay okay, okay next one okay next to use case can we clear team or any questions till now team please ask no both will not found sir if both will found you will get an error both will not found if both will found you will get an error okay, next one team. how to load properties file how to load properties file in spring so now see the use case in here 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 what you will do you need to create the properties file file maybe okay Summer details dot properties file here you need to use our db details database here db url db url username password answer in spring how to load the properties file team you should go for here at the rate property source red property in spring how to load this properties file at the rate property source here class path colon db iphone details dot properties class path colon db iphone details dot properties file. understood team now how to get the value during your application startup it will load the properties file whereas in spring so whenever you are loading this properties file right go to your how to inject here two ways you want to get that data two ways you can get it the rate value spring username dollar username Thing. password rate value string db url okay now here we should give all everything username password DB URL username password DB URL. Now, if you run application, run as no, I am stopping this value stream. Why it is not required? See, no need all the annotation stream. By default, your Spring IDC will give only this one team. This is equal to two to enable the auto configuration. It is responsible for to enable the 
auto configuration how during your application startup it will load the spring dot factories file it will you know what are the required classes are there it will create the objects of that classes now okay, next one thing what is next one now here see so if you go for your spring core see you got srinu welcome simple team so but only thing is you need to load here see you need to give other right property source it will load the properties file automatically go for your here once it will be loaded right how to get using other right value you will get it if it is spring boot if it is spring boot no need to create no need to declare this are the red property source also how to read the values from the property file in spring boot see you can add all these values same values i am adding in spring boot team same values i am adding in spring boot team now let's see now i am using only spring core you don't need to write anything you don't need to load anything go for wherever you want go for wherever you want wherever you want go for my in this controller team here just red value already i did it here i don't want to use this again okay? i am copy paste team copy paste team here now public public just to get products wide get products get products now some dot out dot print ln username see i did not use any great property sources team okay internally okay internally this is spring boot but here the question is see here very very important question now what is the question is let me explain team question see here go for your spring boot what you will do context to dot it be enough dot class no okay what it returns team what it returns that's it dot get products if you run this you will get output team you will get output see here try to understand see what is okay error illegal argument exception place folder password in value password go to here place folder password spring boot demo app it is at the rate component at the rate spring boot application username where is your properties file password all are okay what is the problem team bean creation exception error creating with the bean product controller inject of auto wire dependencies failed illegal state exception could not resolved placeholder password 
let me run again in spring boot could not resolve the dollar password okay. i'm trying to copy same classes here a comma b i got the a username and password of everything go to my spring boot application A dot error creating with the name injection of auto wire one second. Language Spring Bean Factory filed with injection of auto wire. Only password it is happening in the value annotation. Error creating bean with the name injection. Error creating with the bean name. At the rate component is okay. Here at the rate component is okay you got everywhere at the rate auto wire at the rate auto wire your application dot properties file username and password this is also is okay db is an unknown property okay i will write here Rate property source and checking class path colon application dot properties file. run as spring boot application what happened one second team might be dependencies is issue i am thinking file not found exception application or oh, spelling wrong team cc here application application that's why spring will not do all these things spring will read th this one by default spring will load how to load means okay without applicate at the rate properties sources spring will load automatically bean creation exception illegal argument could not resolve a placeholder password let me if i stop this password in a right if i stop this password don't include is it only problem with the password or not i want to know illegal argument exception db url db url what happened Spring Boot application T 
cannot resolve again password go for your a at the rate value dollar username i will check team could not resolve a placeholder okay no problem why it is saying password password only I am starting my Spring Boot project again. Run as MVN clean. Run as MVN installed. This is the problem. Run as MV installed. Go to here. All dependencies are there. Spring Boot starter and everything. Spring Core is there. Spring context is there, everything is there. Class path application dot properties file. See now you got everything team M1, M2, Srinu. Earlier it was a build issue team. Earlier it was a build issue. Let me change my class name run as spring boot application team yeah now you got a good team so let's see i am commenting this here i don't need this one in spring boot application no need to configure at the rate it should come to you see in spring you need to use annotations at the rate properties and source in spring boot you don't need team see how to load the properties file so in spring boot in Spring Boot, in Spring Boot, properties file. In, okay, in Spring Boot, properties file names should be should be either application dot properties file or application dot OML file. So Spring Boot will load will load this properties file during during application application startup during application startup and and you know this is what team creates an okay empty environment object detects external configuration means or properties file loads into environment object so what your spring boot will do spring boot will load this properties file during your application startup only no need to use at the rate property source notation if see if you want to prove i can convert my properties file into yaml there is no option again yaml to properties file 
right click on it convert properties to yaml it is yaml you will write so many stuff team okay you will write so many things i would okay, i would explain now here t now if you go here our application run as spring boot application team understood team in spring boot application either it may be application.yaml file or application.properties file spring boot will load this properties file during your application startup and no need to use okay no need to use any uh, you know no need to use at the rate property source annotations team okay number one done number two number three if we want load custom properties file if you want load our own properties file if you want load our own properties file if you want load our own properties file then 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 we should then we should load using at the rate property source annotations for if we want to load custom r our own yml files then we should load using you should load using then then at the rate property source will not support that what we'll do convert ml file into properties files then load the properties file using the rate property source annotation the rate properties source annotation team at the rate property source annotation team load the properties files using at the rate properties source annotation using at the rate properties source annotation team understood here see let's see see it is okay it is okay so if you want to give our own it is okay default one is okay but if you want to give our own our own means like products info dot products details properties file yes Hello. your product Hello. yeah the uh, username enter is reno is not coming is there any restriction for that no 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 Value? oh is it no it's one it's second you is not coming oh it should not come sir let me check how much big you will give it will give oh it is yaml means you should give him some space no. go for your printing are you printing anywhere no because if you see i would give big number whatever you will give it should come there is no restriction so go here run as java application one second so it is coming here only screen why it is not coming it should come sir it should no. come username 
what is the issue only srinu is not coming what happened man it's, it's a it's surprise thing sir username username db url it's surprising one second you name i'm thinking is there any name available now it came sir that means there is a some predefined property is there this spring dot application is provided by your spring boot it is not our user defined it's a predefined see all so many spring boot properties files are available so if you go this okay documentation application dot properties spring boot documentation there are so many so many you know configurations will be there see one of the configuration may be username due to this it will get some config sir so spring has provided so many properties files that's why in later we will be using all the properties file not now so that's why if you want these are our user defined properties file if you want a predefined properties file you can use so many properties file are there spring has provided so many properties files team how what when we will see practically afternoon okay we'll use these are our user defined that's why it is providing here user defined sir understood now see if you want to see user defined properties like uh, you know what is the project okay, discount the discount would be varied for okay every time now if okay, if you want your okay discount is some 15 percent you know and uh, you know it will be stock is available or not stock is available okay, so some, something it is where you want to read those you should read where here let's assume that at the rate value at the rate value give this give this this is same don't copy paste here copy paste here wait string discount discount now you should see at the rate value braces now you should see another one sir your spring boot will load only predefined file name properties file it will not load all the properties file private string this i am printing here i am printing here this i am printing here this you are providing discount you are providing stock stock now you will get an error now what error this properties file is not found in the not found anywhere see 100% you will get error could not find resolve the discount value because by default your spring boot will load this application dot properties file or application dot yaml file because application dot properties file yaml file is so many predefined configurations are already present we will be using later you know after some time 
so if you want to load your own properties file if you want to load your own properties file you should use you should use you should use what our own you should use custom at the rate property source class path colon load our own properties files sir load our own properties file load our own properties file no good is it okay now now let's see now go to here okay, let's see sir run as spring boot application see now you got it or not understand so this concept will not work for yaml file if i will not add any yaml file file order details okay or i will convert this properties file into yaml file see now you are trying to run run as spring boot application it should give error why error file not found exception class path product details properties file cannot open because it okay, does not okay, exist even though you give okay okay one second one second one second here i am trying to give oml so oml how to write oml of syntaxes and all i okay i will explain sir at the rate property sources oml is working one second it should not work maybe the latest version given this feature we'll see sir run as mvn clean till 2.3 it was not there let's see build success see what happened run as mv installed now run as spring boot application sir i would explain but until uh, previous version it was not loaded you have to convert into our own but you know from latest version of spring boot it supports for both yaml and it supports for properties file both sir it is okay now here see see okay, according to our project requirement either if you want to load your own yaml file then property source then you have to follow your, your own file then either load via load via at the rate property source annotation or convert your oml file into properties file i will show you this use case also in post launch team okay team now this is what post lunch we'll take lunch what is spring profiles we'll see team what is spring profiles after spring profiles in in spring core we will see spring profiles only team in spring profiles we'll see after that he'll go for okay mvc team he'll go for okay mvc any questions team till now see what is mean by configuration properties book dot isbn book dot author book dot book dot now you should give okay so many properties are there what is book dot title what is book dot okay title sir maybe uh, you know okay our spring boot in action whatever it and book dot 
book dot okay now what is the price and so on i have so many okay properties are there sir so let us assume that how to read the properties file public class as book controller or book service now what you will do you have to apply you have to apply so number of properties is equal to at the rate value at the rate value dollar basis what is book dot isbn so you have to write number of properties is equal to number of annotations sir so number of properties is equal to number of number of at the rate value annotations the number of at the rate value annotations see now here so to provide see each and every property developer has the responsibility to write the more value annotations team so more number of attribute it takes more time to write the annotation to inject the values it is you know it's a it's a team you have to uh, you know write many times for every bean okay at the rate value will be okay injected team for every bean at the rate value will be okay injected team in order to inject the values into book bean definition we have to write how to inject the values here in order to inject inject the in in, in order to inject the dependent values dependent values into book into book controller then then okay we we have to write we have to write at the rate value annotation we have to write at the rate value annotation okay so at the rate value annotation on each property annotation on each property team each property please try to understand at the rate value annotation on each property we should write team now what happened if you each 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 property of the class each property of the class team each property of the class okay now each property of the class each property of the class okay each property of the class okay is it clear team now so the number of attributes are more if the number of attributes in properties file if the number of attribute is more than then it takes time it takes time to write it takes time to write the annotation inject values annotations and inject the values to overcome this problem to overcome this problem to overcome this problem spring boot as spring boot has introduced spring boot has introduced a concept is called a concept is called configuration configuration bean configuration properties configuration properties bean post processor t bean post pro okay processor this will take care this will this will take care this will take care to create the this will take care to create the bean definition this will take care to create the bean definition so that so that it would be create so that so that okay it would create so that 
it would be automatically automatically registered with ioc ioc in container ioc container and will be invoked and will be invoked and will be invoked and will be invoked for each bean each bean definition team each bean definition so what happened here you know you should do very in simple here here in my application.yaml i have my user defined i will copy paste as it is into mine here here instead of you write all this okay, instead of you wrote it is an one second i would converting into i cannot okay, revert it to team once you will do you cannot uh, convert again you should do new file application properties either you should use yaml or you should use application data properties team yaml we will use sure both are same team always okay either one okay always okay it will give okay priorities of let's see yaml or okay properties file always okay it would give okay priority of this properties file team now okay, let's see team now no need this okay now so here okay now how to load this kind of okay properties team how to load this kind of properties okay instead of writing too many things what we should use new class create one book object book or whatever it product or whatever it at the rate is a component is a at the rate very very important here private here what are the properties here i have private isbn author private title private price and sound team now please try to understand here string string here the only thing is okay instead of writing too many properties okay, too many other what you should give okay, instead of writing too many other what okay you should give you should give like now here see at the rate you should give like at the rate you should give like at the rate very very important at the rate prefix at the rate prefix at the rate prefix team at the rate component at the rate configuration properties configuration properties in the bracket prefix is equal to book team that's it that's it here the values automatically will be selected here now how to get these values how to get these values you have a book right now here you can using this book object okay you can get these values or if you want to print using two string system dot out dot print ln source generate two string source generate two strings team how to print this value go go for your controller it is a component right wherever you want to team auto wire book book you can print all what you want system dot out dot print ln okay system dot out dot print ln 
happening all happening to you so you can use means iterating configuration property is used to to read the values in your real time project you will be using all the scenarios team dot get isbn now author plus b dot b dot get author now next one team b dot get price b dot get instead of you will write okay here get price get title now here team see now you would see here price you will see here title and sound team so wherever you want from that bean you can just read the value and you can get this value read the value and get this value but to enable this other rate then you have to give here you have to give here at the rate enabled at the rate enabled configuration properties update enabled configuration properties team now run as spring boot that's it what is the issue you name in you name is not possible here is that you name go to here i am not using this my user defined you name yeah it is yaml file syntax it is no problem go to your code no need this or go to okay, revert the values restore from local repository i want restore restore from local repository no problem okay how you want restore at the rate property source last path to colon products hyphen details dot one second so now if i run the application run as see what is the error we'll see what is the error you name value could not place maybe application dot properties by uni go to our code here also you name is there here also you name is there maybe build was not happening properly run as mvn clean now run as of okay, mvn clean okay next one team okay run as mvn installed run as mvn install team okay now you will run the application run as java application spring boot application team no setter found for author book author go for this bean alt s r alt a selector Now 
we will try team run as spring boot app team see now you got all this output or not now you got all this output team got a team to load this okay properties file now we should use we should use two annotations team two annotations so one is one is at the rate at the rate enabled one is at the rate enabled configuration configuration properties file this is used to this is used to inject the in, in this is used to create the create the this object what object configuration properties being post to processor object okay second one at the rate at the rate configuration at the rate configuration at the rate and configuration properties at the rate configuration properties now prefix prefix is equal to something book that's it no need to write too many okay properties you know okay no need to write too many at the rate value annotations if anyone will ask how to read the type based properties file type okay introduce question how to read the type based properties file it is what type book type it is what type book type it is what type book type okay, interviews are asking how to read type based properties file number one okay and number two how to read read the type type based properties files or how to read the how to read the properties file without the rate value annotation without the rate value annotation or how to read the properties how to read the properties without the rate value annotation you have to use on top of the bean at the rate configuration properties you have to use enabled configuration properties are you clear team are any questions here spring profiles how to use profiles how to use okay profiles in spring boot in spring core in spring core we need to see what is meant by profiles using profile we can switch from one environment to, to another environment using profiles we can switch to from one environment to, to another okay, environment that means okay in your real time we have in real time we have different environments like dev comma test comma uat comma prod okay so each each environment will have each environment will have their own configurations that means if i want to communicating with the okay, dev database so how this here db iphone dev dot properties here i have okay dev db properties i have okay dev db properties how it is db dot driver class name so com dot okay sql dot mysql dot and so on jdbc dot driver if you go db dot url jdbc dot or mysql jdbc dot mysql dot local host colon double three zero six colon db db dot username db dot password root so these details will be varied from environment to environment so if it is a test environment it is dev 
if it is test you have to use a okay, test to db here this url will be varied from environment to environment varied from okay, environment to okay, environment test to db 10.0.0.230 maybe here the okay, username is okay, different here the password is different here okay, test to user here password is maybe pwd123 something if it is UAT, the UAT okay, environment okay, details will be different. In, in Spring Core, what you should do here? Environment based properties file. To load the environment based properties file. Okay, environment is used to using profiles for switching from one environment to another environment easily. To load the Okay, environment or again I am telling people are asking what is the use of what is the use or what are the profiles what are the profiles team some clients are calling environments what are the profiles or okay, environments and what is the purpose of it what is the purpose of it at the rate profile please try to understand team now point number one now point number one see now question we can use we can use the profiles or environments we can use the other rate profiles to switch to switch you can use the profiles to switch from one environment to two, another environment to switch from one environment to two, another environment one environment to two, another environment in our real time we have minimum a a project is a dev environment test and uat and prod properties are there how to load this okay based on the properties file how it will be executed means now here c team very very important now here see please okay try to understand team here so in spring core what we should do team in spring core we have to write so much of code team in spring core for dev environment you have to write code like you have to write code like at the rate configuration at the rate properties source you have to go for class path db iphone dev dot properties file now you should give at the rate profile you should give at the rate profile okay dev team then what happened dev configuration class will be okay, executed class dev config java dev config similarly you should write one more config for test you should write one more config for uat so it is test team it will load okay which properties file test environment properties file so if it is uat it will load which one uat team see okay. lot of code you have to write in spring core team but in Spring Boot, in Spring Boot, please, no need to write, no need to write any configuration, any configuration to load the, to load the environments, to load the environment, to load the profiles. load the profiles what the spring boot will do 
spring boot will take care internally spring boot will take care internally to load the properties file we don't need to load anything team spring boot will load internally this properties file we don't need to load anything team trust me now here see go here go here what we should do see we have let's say assume that i have a db just url url just i have these properties i am copying here properties file in spring core in spring core is like a different team and in in spring bean i have spring core like examples also if you want okay let me show one simple example on spring core so that you will get some clarity spring example spring core only only profiles you see here how to load the profiles in spring core how to load okay instead of okay, typing and all team it will take time see in spring core you have to write configurations to load the is not properties it's a profiles one second team profiles profiles yeah it is spring core profiles team now here what you should do you have to write a dev environment component scan it will load a dev environment properties file if it is qa it will load q environment properties file if it is production it will load production environment properties file team see okay how to run these Okay, how to run this team? Now we'll see here. Run as MVN installed. How to run this application? Here you have to create manually application context context is equal to new annotation config application context to team. Now here see, go to here. You need to pass Spring dot profiles dot okay, active is equal to true either you should pass from here or you should pass run as run as configuration environment new spring dot profiles dot active is equal to prod apply run see it will load which one no it will load which one no 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 why we run this yeah it is it will load which one team let me stop this running my spring core run as java application what is the issue here may no class being writer is defined Writer is defined. I don't want to make too complex here. Run as MVN installed. Just I want to an environment properties are there here. In my resource, I have dev QA. Here, these many are there in my resource. You can pass the environment from the here, either here, or you can pass the environment from your environment properties team. You don't need this are all how to load an environment based properties file. If I pass here dev, it will load a dev properties file team. Run as Java. 
see dev properties phi loaded from where dev properties phi see in spring boot you don't need to write all this code thing see it is my spring boot application go your okay spring boot application you can create copy paste spring application iphone dev environment copy paste what is is there here db url comma username comma properties okay now copy but the file name should be application iphone dev only file name okay you should not give okay your own name spring can understand this name spring boot can understand okay, this name your own name here application iphone test dot properties file copy paste application iphone uat dot properties file next one copy application iphone broad dot properties file t number of environments is equal to number of okay properties file if it is dev this configuration is there if it is test 10.0.0 it is 130 username is maybe you could test user password is pwd123 okay now if it is go for uat username is maybe uat user password is maybe 123 go for production okay for prod depends team so go for here prod here 150 production password will be okay, encrypted here you can give your own password team okay your own prod user okay something okay right now how to read these values based on the environment values i should read a team based on the environment value i should read either using at the rate value or not that's fine based on the environment values i want to read that properties i want to read at the rate value at the rate value how to read the values from the properties file you should give go to this properties file team db dot driver name or you can write one more configuration with db star okay either one is okay db dot this one private string driver class name your class name okay now next one db dot username and password team we will go there db url db username comma password db driver class name db url db url now db username password db url db username and password password understood team how to read the values from the how to read the values from the you know profiles team based on the profiles here db password based on the profiles okay it would be an executed team now here see hey at the end we will develop one of application that application will look helpful all these things team how that application all will give 
driver class name and URL driver class name URL DB username DB password that's it so how to read the profile based values team go to here of here you will give db url you will give db username db username okay now you will give db password team done team done now here see so that's all now i don't want these values now i can comment my focus is on only how to how to load the properties file how to load the okay, properties file team now see now if you can run our application how to run here how to run your now here run as spring boot application why it is error could not resolve db.url excellent because if you are not passing any profile it is trying to read your application dot properties file your default application dot properties file these properties are not there if you want to test here you can go ahead here and you can add it here you can add here driver class you can add it here okay driver class is from default from default properties file for testing default username understood team now go to here run as spring boot application why what is the error could not resolve to placeholder db dot in value it is db dot driver class name go for your db dot db dot one second team it is it should not have any issue let me check in my code before we'll use it should not have any issue okay let's see run as project no one second i am clean up why it is not taking project build automatically here is there right run as mvn install now go to here now run as see now you got it team everything you got now i will try why that db dot is not not working is my concern so add db dot add db dot add db dot add db dot okay now run as mvn clean run as mvn installed go to here run as spring boot application see earlier it was something issue you got a okay, driver class name what is it is db why it is loading production user driver class name is selected anything is brought go to your application dot properties file it should load from default one okay it should load from driver class colon go here it should load from okay driver class driver class url driver class username driver class password 
now run as spring boot. Yes, but URL is prod user. Why it is taking prod user? Is there anywhere setted? Yeah, let's see. Run as configuration. Do you have environment? Yeah, already you have environment. Spring dot profiles dot active is equal to prod team. That's why you got. If I remove this one, apply run. See default user, default password. If I give a okay, dev environment, run as configuration environment new spring dot profiles dot active dev. apply run. See dev means root name is user user all are same. I understood team. This is what how to read the environments how to read the okay, environments okay how to implement the profiles in spring boot in real time in real time th this value in real time spring dot profiles dot active is equal to environment environment name name should spring dot profiles dot active is equal to environment name should send should send your should send from you should send via Docker via Docker file or CI C D pipeline. Somewhere you should pass. See what you are asking how you are how you are loading, you know, uh, okay, environment based properties file. What is Spring Profiles? Spring Profiles is usually to, to switch one environment from another environment. How you are implementing? You will pass this Spring dot Profiles dot Active is equal to environment name, so that so that okay, based on the environment name, the corresponding properties file will be loaded. Take these values backend system and get the data from the backend system get the data from the backend systems sir are we clear okay everyone or any questions sir this is the concept of okay profiles team okay, next one sir so there is a concept is called in spring boot okay runners okay, runners what is the use of this okay runners team okay, runners is see if you want to perform one time activities if you want to perform one time activity during your application startup then we should go for runners if we want perform you want to perform uh, one time startup activities one time one time startup activity after ioc after ioc container has has been created okay after container of okay, ioc has been created if you want to perform any some startup activities like like you know get the get the data from the and get the uh, you know like uh, uh, read the like read the values from the cache and the second one like uh, something is you know startup large should use if any some okay okay retrieve the database uh, in our real time some applications right some applications will uh, display the will display the countries list uh, state list uh, understood so when you open your form 
request will go for your application it's only for one time it's a static data if you want okay if you want to read the values from okay values one time to perform one time startup activities and your application will start it will get all the it will get all the your okay, spring boot applications it will get all the your application you know it will get all the data from the back end and it will be sent to your client so if you want to perform one time startup activities after ioc container has been created then you should go for then you should go for runners team runners we have two types of a runners team we have two types of a runners one is one is command line runner another one is another one is another one is application runner one is command line runner team another one is application runner both are same using application runner we can get the more values more okay arguments now here see how to implement this you will go here here only you can use okay implements command line runner see dj functional interface see it is a functional interface a functional interface will have only one abstract method that's why it is called okay functional interface team now here see what it will do what argument you want during your application startup during your application startup what you want for perform team during okay, your application startup whatever okay you want to perform all the code you can write all the code you can write team okay okay everything okay you can write team during your application startup what code you want okay everything it will be taken here team okay understood team now here you should write here as of now system dot out dot print ln entered into command line runner that's it here you have to write uh, get the data get the data from the database and store into cache it is called okay one time job okay, next time get the values from the cache let's see run as understood team so here it will be printed this entered into this command line team just to connect to, to your database what values you want to team during your work application startup what values you want that values you should use from the okay, command line okay, runner or okay, application runner both are same team if you use a okay, application runner it is also one of the okay functional interface application runner you so, know application runner it is also Okay, functional interface if you want to get more okay arguments okay if you want to get more arguments team then i don't want arguments i want only for i want only for okay, information then you should go for then okay you should go for this okay, okay this uh, command line okay runners team okay depends upon the okay requirement either okay you, okay, you should go for command line runner or you should go for okay, application okay, runner team okay either one is same either okay, you should go for a command line or you should go for okay, application runner see now here here you have a string r's if you want you can print what are the okay, args are coming here for string you can give a okay, control into here for string arc colon arcs arg colon args system dot out dot print ln arg team if any args are there okay args are arguments are run as string boot application see here sop ansible default arguments are there it is okay, displaying okay, default arguments team 
if any arguments you will be passing right those arguments you can print it in here so here here is what happened when i should go for this okay, application runner team okay when i should go for this okay, application runner see here okay, depends team okay, application or okay, arguments is used to if you want more information from here ox dot non option non option args it is an string array it is an string array how to iterate this string array go for i am directly i am writing team for loop string arg string non ops arg okay now what happened now you can string now you can okay, display team whatever you want you will okay, display here system dot out dot print ln out dot print ln non ops non operation arguments are understood team now run as your spring boot application see these runners you are not calling anywhere but these will be called atom automatically team okay you are not calling anywhere these will be called automatically this is called non optional arguments if you want okay, optional okay, arguments okay you can print it team system dot out dot print ln non option arguments now next to line you can add system dot out dot print ln option arguments team same code you can write wherever non is there now you should go for ops here get ops arguments team so if you want to get more more details then you should go for you should go for if you want more argument details you should go for application runner if you want only just argument details you should go for okay come and line runner team option names option names option names optional arguments option names control shift to r alt shift to r how to rename option elements option names that's it run as understood see under into arguments are there non ops argument arguments are not there as of no team so in real time okay depends upon the requirement after the your application context object would be created if you want to load any one time activities one time activities means like just to fire and forget means get the data from the one system and to updating into other system that's it these kind of activities if you want to perform now here you should go to use this command line runners team that's it okay. okay till now we are good team if you are good till now then we should go for okay mvc team okay you should go for okay mvcc we have okay discussed about spring core okay dependency injection then how it will work this bean constructor injection and all now now we we have okay discussed about okay enable auto configuration how it works at the rate spring boot application at the rate spring boot configuration without spring boot how the spring core okay, examples are there with the spring boot how the okay, examples are there we have seen team if you use spring boot no need all the annotations team if you use spring boot no need because okay, at the rate bean is not required at the rate component scan is not required at the rate properties source is not required at the rate profile is not required everything will be taken care by your spring boot team so using spring boot we can we can avoid we can avoid at the rate bean we can avoid at the rate bean at the rate property source at the rate profile 
at the rate value may or may not value may or may not at the rate import at the rate import understood team at the rate import annotations we will use we will use at the rate value rarely to read only one properties file at the rate component is used to inject the to create the beans at the rate auto wire is okay required to inject the beans and at the rate qualifier is okay required that's it team so we are okay avoiding almost all the configuration using spring core you know using spring boot team okay summary of this spring core so what we have okay discussed so if any questions team again okay i will explain team spring core now we'll see we have okay discussed here now here how to how spring boot spring boot will provide the ioc container how spring boot will provide the ioc container is a stand alone not okay okay web application stand alone container means public annotation annotation application context okay next one we have seen team dependency injections using constructor injection setter injection without configuration how the without can will take care with the help of with the help of at the rate spring boot application at the rate spring boot application internally will have three annotation one is at the rate spring boot configuration another one is at the rate component scan another one is at the rate enable auto configuration next one team we, we have seen you know how at the rate spring boot will work but still we have so much of stuff is there how at the rate spring boot will work internally next one team we have seen what happened when spring application dot and spring application dot run method run method will be executed we have seen it will do okay it will take care of to create the environment object it will take care of to to load the properties file it will okay it will okay, okay identify what is the type of your web application that are available in our class path if it is a web jars it will create the web container if it is reactive it will create the reactive if it is no no web no reactive it will prepare the stand alone container after that a spring container will be created after that uh, you know it will load all the register factories it will load all the auto configuration classes which are available in the spring dot factories class which are available in the spring dot factories class after that your ioc object will be created after that now here it will be refreshed means all the beans will be stored inside of the container understand sir next one we have seen how to load the how to load the properties file you know how to load the properties file you know using spring and without spring uh, also we have seen how to load the properties file after seen how to configuration properties how to enable this configuration properties after that after that we have seen profiles how to okay, implement profiles in spring boot with the help of spring dot profiles dot active is equal to true okay, dev or test okay, that's it here after that we have okay, discussed about the okay, runners team runners means we have two kind of okay, runners one is command line runner another one is application runner these are you know during startup activities during startup activities if you want run your batch jobs during your application startup only batch job will be called batch job will be triggered batch job will be executed or 
or get the data from the so and so places and updating into other places if any is in your real time if any startup activities only one time startup activities they will be using this command line and application runner runners team last one you can customize your spring boot applications customize spring boot application how to customize your spring boot application 